Hey guys, Stealth here. Welcome back to Cold Waters. We're still on the prowl in the Barents Sea, where we're awaiting an invasion force that's heading for Oslo. As you can see, I'm not moving at all. I'm expecting this group to come out of Murmansk. There. This might be what we're looking for. And by just staying at bay, and just not moving at all, I'm at periscope depth, so I start out at a very advantageous position. So we're going to go for Ultra Quiet. We immediately have two contacts, Sierra 1, Sierra 2. And some more. <clears throat> okay, so these guys are bearing 1-0-something. Oh they are probably still at 25,000 yards, that is, so I probably can't see them yet. That's fine. At least the weather... Oh, we do have a helo. The weather has cleared up. Allowing me to use my periscope a bit more safely. Now, Master 1. What do we have for Master 1? Considering that he's actively sending out signals, I'm thinking it's a surface ship, not a sub. Ooh. I think we got a sub many over here. Matches up perfectly. Zero three. Please identify. It's not a sub, I don't think. Then where are you? I'm Guema AP. What the hell's that? Might be part of the invasion force. Right, the Sovermeni is at 19,000 yards, bearing 116. Definitely nothing there yet. Alright, the Sovermeni is a very dangerous ship. Very noisy, very well armed. Especially against enemy surface contacts. I would rather not go up against this thing on the surface. I do have a layer that I can use to just dip over and dip down. So a couple of torpedoes and then duck behind the layer. Or below the layer, really. At this point, I'm not really expecting to hear this thing on the sonar yet. Let alone E3 and E4. Correction, E4 and E5. I still don't have any idea what these things are. The Sovremeni is the one that I want to keep a tr uh, close eye on and potentially kill off ASAP. There's the Sovremeni. 91% accuracy. 25... yeah, make that 26,000 yards. We have another Sierra contact. Let's see if we can identify this guy. It's gonna get busy today. Really, really busy. Alligator LST. So that's a landing ship. Another freighter slash landing ship. So for many, 25,000 yards. Where's that helicopter relative to me? Contact spotted. That's the Silver Mini. There's the Hilo. I think the Hilo is just snooping out contacts in front of the Silver Mini. At least that's what I hope. There we go, he's dipping down again. So they're all going to be passing south of me. I don't quite have a good targeting solution on these. No, Echo 5 is classed as a cash in. That's good to know. He's very far away though. Echo 4 is a Krivak. So we also have a frigate here. We have a frigate, two destroyers, and two transport ships. As well as one landing ship. So we're dealing with six targets. If I have detected all of them. 
And that last bit, I don't know. These surface guys are making so much noise that... Hang on. Is that the Krivak? That's the Krivak. Okay. 38,000 yards. That's too far away from my torpedoes to go after him. Anyway, if these surface ships are making so much noise, then they might be shielding a submarine that's getting close to them. Similarly, a friendly submarine is going to have a very hard time trying to identify... Hang on. That's the cash in. Trying to identify and detect any contacts nearby. Now, let's get closer. Get ready to fire on the Sovremeni. And get these other escorts out of the way. The Krivak and the Kashin. My plan is to continue east slightly. Make it southeast. And just try to get a little closer to the Sovremeni. So that we can jam at least two torpedoes into the side of that ship. Because the Sovremeni is a really, really big guy. 8,000 tons. Versus, for example, a Krivak at 3,500, 3,500, 15,000. But these things, Sovremenis, are designed to survive. A freighter? Not so much. Bearing 117. Let's see if we can find him. Yep, there he is. Upgraded to Master 2. That's the Sovremeni re-established. That's the Cashin. Sovremeni currently 21,000 yards. At 10 knots. Speed up time a little bit. They're all moving nicely in one group. I'm speeding up quite a bit. Alright, here's the plan. We're gonna head south. We're going to fire off a full spread of torpedoes with a couple of seconds between them, if not more than that, making sure that we do not hit the same target with multiple torpedoes. That wouldn't be a terrible thing, but I don't have that many torpedoes on board anymore, and I need to make the most of them. So we're all dealing with surface contacts, I want one to go for the Sovereign Many, and then a couple of those for the other contacts. So let's make it slightly more than a second, because they're all going to be on the surface, they're all going to be active. If a surface ship sinks, which I think they will do so rather quickly, after getting hit by one of my torpedoes, the other torpedo needs to ignore that contact. So the other torpedo should not be distracted by it if it's already sinking. Alright, that will do. Tube 1, away. Tube 2, away. Two to three away.
too far away. Now we're going to get the hell out of here. We're going to cut the wires. I want all of my torpedoes reloaded. Because we're going to be needing some more. I want to duck below the layer. And start to head a little bit further south. Almost crossing below the layer. Two, one reloaded. I'm going to lose my sonar tracks on all of these guys, but I just want to make sure that if they do detect a torpedo, that they're not going to fire one back at my last known location, or at least in the general direction of where all those torpedoes came from. Because it's not actually listed, but I believe a Sovereign can do that. Depth, 370 feet. 400 feet. A head full. And now we wait. We wait for explosions, and we wait for kills. Unfortunately, I cannot show you any pretty death animations, because we do not know what the torpedoes are seeing. And we just lost all of our own tracking ability for surface contacts. Because we're below the layer, and the ESM is not actually above the surface anymore. Nor is the scope, for that matter. I have no idea where these torpedoes are at this point. So we could be seeing an impact at any moment. One torpedo went active. I don't see them violently maneuvering yet. I do hear the helicopter. Now this one is pinging, but it hasn't found anything. Or has it? No, it's heading close to the surface. It's looking for something. I think it may have found something. So that's one. Where are the other torps at? There, two, three. Not sure what number four is. This might be the torpedo that was heading the furthest. Yeah, I think it's one of the outermost torpedoes. These things are still looking for targets. They should have no shortage of targets whatsoever. I can't imagine all four of these torpedoes missing. He found something, and he just killed the Sovremeni. That's one. I'm trying to hear if this thing gets a return ping anytime soon. So these are the torpedoes that we're heading for the rest of the group. And at this point, I really don't care what I hit. I'm basically firing indiscriminately. Because trust me, those are not just your average freighters. Nice distance away from where I was last spotted. So we're going to make a turn south. And then start getting close to the surface again. 
I want to race my scope and my ESM again. Looks like I can now hear my own torpedoes. At least I can see them on the map. They may have been able to get outside of the range of the torpedoes. Or at least outside of the seeker cone. There's the Krivak. Alligator reestablished. Where's he? There. No way. Not at 16 knots, he's not. This torpedo looks like it's going after something. It's generally made a sharp turn. Might be going after this freighter here. The Mguema. Now, what is the Mguema exactly? There. 15 knots, very noisy. It really should be a challenge for a torpedo. Passing 100 feet, coming up to periscope depth again. His pings are starting to speed up. So his return pings are getting closer. There's a noisemaker in the water, potentially, or a knuckle. He definitely found something. Brace, brace, brace. What do we hit? We hit the cash in. Excellent. That's another dangerous surface ship dealt with. Up scope, up ESM. Okay, so we're looking for targets bearing zero, nine, or zero. There's the helicopter. He must be pissed off. There's one dead ship. That's the cash in. I don't know where the others are. The Mguema, the alligator, and the other Krivak. I would really like to find out though. We have them on sonar. But we don't quite know how far away they are. At least we know that they're pretty far. Now, I can go in with something else. And I'm going to. Something just got hit. Yep, I hit an alligator. Okay, so out of our four torpedoes that we fired, we hit three. We're going to reload all the tubes with harpoons. And these harpoons are going to hit the surface ships with missiles, of course, or as missiles. But they're also going to be pointing exactly at where my sub is. So this is going to be a much more risky operation. I'm going to fire these things in pretty quick succession. And the advantage is that they are also a bit faster. Of course, they can be stopped by this Krivak. Let's make a poor turn. Now the Krivak is at a bearing of 093. I really doubt we can detect him at that range. We still have the helicopter there, but nothing else. So 
So we're just going to have to be a bit patient. The problem I have now is that once I fire these missiles, that helicopter is going to probably come straight for me. Because just imagine being inside that helo, and all of a sudden, you see four plumes of smoke, or at least one plume of smoke, coming out of the water. You're going to go, huh, I may need to investigate that a bit further. Let's see, so for many, he's bearing 129. Just checking to see if he's actually sunk. It looks like that's the case. Otherwise, we're going to have our newly found harpoons hitting targets that are already dead. Which would be unfortunate, to say the least. And this Krivak is the one that worries me. The others are just trying to run off. But at 15 knots, they're not likely to do so successfully. Building a solution for the Krivak 1. 80%. There he is. Eyes on. This helicopter is getting a bit close, though. Where is he? There. Oh, never mind. The helo's buzzing off. Literally. Now, if possible, I want to send, sink this Krivak 1 first. So, sorry torpedo crews, but I want to have another torpedo in my tube. We're going to sink him first using a torpedo. And then fire the harpoons after these transports. just want to wait for this thing to get closer. Nineteen thousand yards. And yes, I am orienting my ship towards him. Sixteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. That's close enough for me. sure it's an active weapon. Torpedo away. There he is. And there's at least one helo. I think that that still might be the helicopter that was launched by the Sovremeni. I'm just not too sure. Now, this guy is going to be steaming full speed into my torpedo. He's at 27 knots, which is still not his top speed of 34. But definitely moving fast enough. So hopefully he can keep that up for a while. And make it really, really easy for my torpedoes to find him. This guy won't know what hit him. And by the time he finds out, it'll be too late. The reason why I didn't fire a harpoon at this Krivak is that my chances of hitting him with a torpedo are better. A torpedo is virtually impossible for him to shake off. A missile, he can shoot down. It's not particularly likely, but it is a possibility, and I would rather avoid that. Now, my torpedo is searching in the general direction. It looks like the Krivak has heard the torpedo and is making a sharp turn to avoid it. At this point, he might outrun it, though. Still making a hefty turn there. Torpedo has acquired the target. Just 
torpedo is about to impact. He's making a last ditch turn. Not enough. You're done for, buddy. Boom. Torpedo successfully impacted with Krivak Master 4. Now, to deal with these surface combatants here. Time to fire a harpoon. I'm going to take my sweet time with these things because I'm in no rush whatsoever. And I would hate to lose harpoons on targets that are already dead. So here's a harpoon. You can still see it flying off into the distance there. Of course I cannot track this thing on the map. But we are going to be tailing the missile just visually. To see how it's doing and see if it hits something. Reload these with harpoons. Actually, one torpedo, you never know. Now, a freighter, unarmed, undefended, against a harpoon is not a fair fight. But then again, I'm not looking for fair fights. I just want these things killed off ASAP. Quite the distance away that these ships are. 40,000 yards, if it's accurate. Looks like he found something, he just made a course change. I wonder if this freighter is even picking him up. I doubt it. It's dipping low. Going for the waterline hit. It's going to be loud. Eventually. Once upon a time. Gotcha. Okay, so I hit something. Wait, one. Did he survive? Did he actually survive a harpoon hit? Or did we happen to hit a ship that was already sinking? Because that would be unfortunate, wouldn't it? Shit, we're dealing with a torpedo or so- Oh, hello! Uh, last ditch effort. Tube 2. Correction, tube 1, tube 3. Emergency deep. All I had flank. Use the layer. Cavitating, that's unfortunate, but whatever. This is what I was expecting. I just wasn't expecting a response this soon. Dip below the layer. Quick, quick, quick. Stop cavitating. Torpedo still hasn't acquired me. But that can change any moment. There he is. He's acquired my position. We have two torpedoes in the water. These bastards are both coming for me. Now I'm going to kite them along for a little bit. Noise maker deployed. Both torpedoes are now going to be distracted for a bit. One of them, not so much. Oh, come on. Oh. I refuse to die now. Noise maker deployed. Do not surface. Do not cavitate. Do not go all back emergency. I wonder how many weapons that helicopter carries. I really hope not too many. I believe a helicopter normally carries two torpedoes. Are we flooding? We're not flooding. Dive plans repaired. I sunk all of the targets here. 
My harpoons in the meanwhile have impacted with the intended targets and killed them off successfully. Shit, that thing is reacquired. All ahead flank. Is there propulsion damage by any chance? Because the ship's not answering all ahead flank. Alright, drop a noisemaker. Looks like we're going to have to head into port anyway after his mission. Come on. Shit, noisemaker. He's still veering off. Limping away with a wounded sub is making this quite difficult. There we go. He didn't hit me. We still have an aircraft nearby. That must be that bloody helicopter. Okay, I don't know exactly where it is. I just know it has absolutely no place to land. I hope that he's not going to be able to detect me anymore. He's still nearby. think that some of this damage cannot be repaired currently. Has to be repaired in port. So be it. Nothing nearby. Leave the combat. Alright, we sunk one Sovremeni, one Krivak, one Kashin, two Amguema um, class freighters, and one alligator landing ship. Damage to the propulsion and the rudder. But we're alive. Great job! Pleased to hear the expected invasion of Oslo and Norway has been repelled. New orders to be sent on this downlink soon. And that gets me the silver medal, or the silver star. I already got the bronze star, I just didn't show that off on video. Because it was just after I stopped recording. Norway stands. Oslo, Nor Oslo, Norway. A massive coordinated sea-based landing has been repelled. NATO spokesman says that a combination of hard fighting by defending troops and prior significant weakening of the invasion force by NATO naval units, make that naval unit, contributed to averting disaster and defeat. According to analysts, the ability of NATO to contain the enemy and prevent opening of new fronts will be a major factor in the outcome of the war. Keeping the front line focused, rather than spread out across multiple territories, will ensure success. An enemy cruise missile sub is heading south towards the Norwegian Sea, towards North Atlantic convoy routes. Okay. Sink it. Diesel Electric Juliet may have diesel attack escort. I would like to return to port first, actually. So they're coming in from the Norwegian Sea, heading towards the North Atlantic. I'm not interested in a fight at all. Okay, um, I'm going to leave you guys here. We're going to see how this one is going to play out next video. Because I'm not interested in doing another fight this video. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon for more Cold Waters. Hey guys, still here. As I was making my way back home in cold waters, I got hit, or at least I got ambushed by what seems to be a surface group. We have a new contact, bearing 354, designate 01. There is a, le a layer at 212, and we are below the layer. So this should give me at least some opportunity to not get detected instantly. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm flooding. Now, in the previous video, or the previous mission, I have taken damage, and it sounds like I have already been detected at this point. This would be a really, really bad way to end this campaign. Now load torpedoes. I want to have one harpoon ready. Depth. I thought there was a layer, but 
It's not showing up. Sonar hasn't had proper time yet to identify contacts. The problem is with this flooding here, that the boat's going to start to re behave slightly less reliably. And it's going to usually try to start sinking. Holy shit! Somebody just dropped a torpedo on my ass. This is what I get for trying to race home back to port for repairs. Identify the contact, make it quick. Oodaloy. Oh, he acquired me too. Not today, sunshine, not today. Go active. I have 15 noisemakers left, so I can play this game for a while. I just hope that I'm not going to be facing too many torpedoes, because I'm not properly equipped for that. Not with a weakened sub. Torpedo's going to come around. It's going to reacquire me. And I cannot do anything more than I had two-thirds. I cannot hide behind any layers. Nothing. Nice maker deployed. I can try to go a little deeper. Not sure if that's going to work out. Why is that torpedo still coming? Oh. That was close. He's looking around again. I'm not sure how close that Oodaloy is. We only got a 50% solution on him. So, my torpedo, the one that I sent north, is more of a Hail Mary than anything else. Get out of here. Oh, Christ. And he hit me. Now, at least I'm going to get a bit of vengeance on this bastard. So we're going to see if this torpedo gets anything. I doubt it. But you never know. He might get lucky. Now unfortunately, with my sub killed off, I can no longer use time acceleration. <coughs> so we're just going to have to wait. At least the weapon is not actively pinging yet, or doesn't seem to be. He's changing course. Going less deep. Looking for a target. I think he found it. I think he found it. Now let's get some vengeance. Now, of course, I had intended for this video to be a standalone one. To be the next part of the campaign. And that's when I got killed off. So, um... <laughs> what you're looking at is an addendum to my previous video. One that I really didn't hope I'd have to make this quickly. But this is just too short a video to be standing on its own. Come on. Still nothing. The one that I'm hearing might be the torpedo sonar. Still pinging away.
Drop the noise maker. Torpedo is dodging. It's going to sail around the noise maker and try to reacquire the target. Dipping down, turning around, coming right back up to the target. Whatever you are, you're about to get hit. You can even hear the surface ship now. The noisemaker. It's nothing if not clever. Dipping down again. I hope he's not going to run out of fuel. Judging by the slight course corrections he's making, I still think he has the target. Whatever it is. Might even be two contacts that are operating close together. You can hear the engineering. Hit. Whatever it is, it died a fiery death. It might even still be moving. <laughs> anyway, that's at the end of the video. Uh, sorry I died so soon again. It's just that I was heading back to port and got ambushed. So I'll be hopefully doing another couple of vids of this game soon. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you for watching. See you soon.